That's Everton. They're plus 150 True. hosting Aston Villa, plus 200. The True. draw here is plus 220. And their two wins under Sean Dyke. Dyche, they're, they've held their opponents, Arsenal and Leeds, the best team in the Premier League this side of Manchester City and Arsenal, and then a, a good offensive team in Leeds to total of 1.3 expected goals. Didn't take long for Sean Dyche to come in here and, and sink his teeth into this team. Uh, Everton looked really, I thought, really good against Leeds. I thought they looked really good against Arsenal. Not so much against Liverpool on the road. Uh, they're taking on Aston Villa, who are coming into this one, licking their wounds a bit. Three losses in a row. It, it, t- tough slate with City and Arsenal, but they give, gave up in those three losses. Nine expected goals against. They should have, they could uh, make the argument that they were both outplayed and unlucky. I guess Arsenal, considering how things transpired there, uh, with Emmy Martinez getting a little bit of karmic retribution. Uh, it's wonderful heading the ball into his own net. Um, I think Everett is a good bet, honestly, even as a home favorite here. Um, I think Deitch is has the team playing in the right direction. Maybe the market's starting to catch up with to their improvement. You got to hope that Dominic Calvert Lewin is back in the lineup at some point. But I thought Neil Mopai actually was pretty good uh, in that role, playing uh, in the channels for Everton against Leeds. And they just, this game obviously at Goodison Park should be a cauldron. Not all that much for Villa to play for. They'll probably be one of the first teams on the beach this season. Um, Not there yet, but I think there's enough here pointing to Everton that they're worth a gander at plus 150. Uh, Anthony, finally, is this your first bet on Everton all season? No, no. I had them against Arsenal. There you go. Second bet. Uh, I'd have to look at this calendar to see if there was a third bet on Everton. But yes, I have Everton at home here. Uh, when I, Once I apply like a little bit, of, I have to like rig the numbers a little bit, but I can make Everton up to like plus 125 here at home. I actually don't think that uh, if you look at recent form, that these two teams have really been that different. Uh, BJ mentioned this last week, and I kind of poo pooed it. And I think he had, you know, he made a decent point. Like Aston Villa has not been better under Unai Emery than they were under future PSG manager Steven Gerrard. It's true, uh, and and they have not gotten better defensively, and the attack continues to kind of have the same exact problems that it had under. Gerard. I mean, they had a couple extra like finishes from Watkins and various other characters, but like they still have very similar issues in uh, in getting the ball into the penalty area once they are able to kind of have their nice little passes back and forth uh, outside of the penalty area. They're still, you know, like 13th in big scoring chances and 13th in box entries. Like this is not a very good attacking team going on the road against a much improved defense. You can make the you can make a convincing case that uh, Everton has the better defense since Dice has come in, and that the attacks are pretty comparable in terms of talent, and they're at home. And I'm only laying minus one twenty two on the draw no bet line. So yeah, I like the Toffees. I think uh, I'm I'm going to be joining you. Actually, I am. I bet it already. Uh, BJ, you thinking a little bit of chaos here? Yeah. You know, Sean Deitch versus Unai Emery doesn't typically scream <laughs> just like a high scoring fair, but hopefully I can explain this in a way where it'll actually make a little bit of sense. And if it doesn't, right ahead. who cares? Uh, so last five matches, Aston Villa's con- conceded 11.2 expected goals. And I'm not even counting the Gabriel Martinelli tap in at the end of the game. That's how bad it's been for Aston Villa the last five matches. And the issues that have existed with Aston Villa during this time span, I think why their defense has been so bad is... Unai Emery plays a style like he did at Villarreal where he wants to play out of the back. Like he wants to build out of the back. He doesn't want to go long. And Aston Villa, the team they have set up is the Steven Gerrard team that wants to play very, very direct. So what you're seeing like matches against Leicester, like the match against Arsenal as well, where they are just turning the ball over in their own area. Guys like John McGinn and Jacob Ramsey are not your prototypical, hey, let's drop this guy into the back line and let's build out through him. They're more defensive type midfielders who are not really that great with the ball at their feet. I mean, you saw three of Lester's four goals when they played them were off of high turnovers. And and listen, here's the thing about Sean Deitch, Michael. Don't think that Sean Deitch is going to just completely just sit deep and just let Aston Villa have the ball and build out with any resistance because the last three matches, 
although it doesn't seem like much, their passes per defensive action has been 14. If you take away the match against Arsenal, they've been under a, they've been under 12 against both Liverpool uh, and against Leeds. And they did have over their three matches under Deitch, they have forced 23 high turnovers. And even you saw it against Arsenal, like Deitch was trying to push them up the pitch to press so they could stop Arsenal's buildup play. If the same thing happens, they're going to be able to force those turnovers against Aston Villa and create that type of chaos. But here's my other thing about Everton. Just because Sean Dyche is here doesn't mean that all of that negative aggression their defense is due for is just completely out the window. Like it's still the same players, still playing a 4 4 2 type system. As, I mean, Everton has conceded 30 goals off of 37.1 expected. Under Sean Dyche, it's been two goals off of 3.4 expected. So I do think there is some negative aggression still coming for Everton. I don't think that Sean Dyche just immediately wipes all that away. And then we go back to the flip side again. Aston Villa, is con- Aston Villa has conceded 12 goals off of set pieces this season. So there are things working against this Aston Villa defense, like clockwork against Everton. So I do like a bet on Everton, but at the same time, Aston Villa's offense under Unai Emery has been pretty good. They have, they've, they're averaging around 1.35 expecting goals per 90 minutes. So with Everton's negative regression uh, on defense. I actually do like a look at the over, over two and a half at plus 125. I project 2.5 goals right on for this match. So if you're giving me over two and a half at plus 125, I'm going to take an over with Sean Dyche and Unai Emery.